Hello my dear child. Now in this particular question, we are going to discuss what is Dalton's atomic theory and indeed we are going to write a short note on it as well. Let's discuss and write this particular answer together. Have a look. Now as far as Dalton's atomic theory is considered, understand that the first point says and I quote it for you, all matter is made up of atoms. Understand that atoms are considered to be indivisible and indestructible. Now when you talk about the word indivisible, it means that atoms cannot be divided and at the same time when you talk about the word indestructible, it means that atoms cannot be destroyed. And every single piece of matter that you have around you is made up of these particular atoms. The second point says and I quote, all atoms of a given element are identical in mass and properties. Now think about this carefully. If you have a bar of gold in front of you, gold is an element and it is ultimately made up of gold atoms. If I inspect each and every atom of gold, I will understand that all of the atoms of gold are exactly the same. Their masses are exactly the same. Their physical and chemical properties are also going to be exactly the same. Third point comes over here and I quote it for you. Compounds are formed by the combination of two or more different kind of atoms. Now what does that mean? Say suppose I have a compound which is called as water. It is given by the formula H2O. It is made up of a total of two elements, hydrogen and oxygen. So for water, I will be requiring two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. All of these atoms are going to combine together in a simple whole number ratio and they are going to give me a molecule of water which means they are going to form the compound water. Fourth and final point I quote and I explain, a chemical reaction is simply nothing but a rearrangement of atoms. Now understand, in a chemical reaction we have reactants to the left and products to the right. During a chemical reaction the reactant bonds are going to break and product bonds are going to get formed and when this particular thing happens, it is only because of the fact that rearrangement of atoms is going to take place and that my dear child is how we know what is Dalton's atomic theory and we have written a short note on it as well.